Watch your step. Just along here. Are you sure? We came through here before and there's no way back to God. See? Is that so? Let me show you something. Are you watching? Dios! What? It's solid! Elven architecture. My bowstring was soaked in the light of Alfheim. It can now reawaken the magic of the elves. Wait, it won't just disappear, will it? Not as long as the light shines free. This way. I want one. Those roots. What kind of magic is that? It's Vanir. From Vanaheim? You know of it? Just stories. Mother didn't say much about the Vanir gods. Just that they're always at war with the Aesir. As compared to Odin and Thor, they're the good guys. There are no good gods, boy. Thought I taught you that. Tyr's temple. Built with help from the giants, Great Tyr used it to travel the Nine Realms and keep the peace between them. Doesn't seem very peaceful. Everywhere we go, we're attacked. Especially by dead things. The risen dead grow ever more numerous. Once the roads and trails would have been full of people. Now all have hid or fled, save for the Reavers, savage enough to survive in such a world. Make a ride at the bottom of these stairs. Please. Take those stairs down. Hey, another one of those light crystals. Wait there while I reawaken the light. Leosta. That did it. What are we doing exactly? Mending the disrepair. Start by lifting that axle. Now push it back into place. Now realign the wheel onto the track. Perfect. Now push the bridge along the track. What? The whole entire bridge is turning. How is the whole entire bridge turning? Boy, you're really strong. Just keep pushing until the bridge reaches its first position. Tired yet? No. He's always been really strong. So about the dead, we heard someone call them Hellwalkers. But what are they? They are poor, restless souls denied their judgment and their peace. Why what? Could Vanier magic raise the dead? It could, once, but this is no spell. This plague of dead is but a symptom of a world out of balance. Something or someone has meddled with powerful forces. That is all I know for sure. That's perfect. Come back up, we're ready now. That was impressive. You didn't hurt your back, did you? I did not hurt my back. Through these doors. Wait, so did the giants or the elves build Tyr's temple? 
all the races helped with its construction. It was the last great act of cooperation between the realms before peace disappeared for good. Leosa. Your bowstring's not low. Its power is now depleted. Only a few knocks of magic remained in the bowstring, and we used them. Your bow, please. Once you claim the light of all time, infuse the bowstring with its power. Don't forget. You talk like you're not coming with us. I'll try, but measures were taken to keep me trapped in Midgard. Why? The gods don't care for me much. Is this it? It's so dark. This temple has been asleep, underwater for almost 150 winters. It needs only the light of the Bifrost to reawaken. Those roots don't look like your magic. They aren't. These roots are part of the Great World Tree, and make travel between the realms possible. Approach the table. How does it work? You will need this, a Bifrost, to create travel between realms. It can capture, hold, and transfer the Light of Alfheim. Place the Bifrost there. What now? Give it a moment. The temple needs time to wake up from its long slumber. It is from this room, and this room alone, that you will be able to cross between realms. What you see before you represents the temple in which we stand as well as the realm towers that encircle the Lake of Nine outside. All the realms exist in the same physical space, reflections of each other. These doors, the towers outside, and the Nine Realms are all intertwined and coexisting on the branches of the World Tree, separated only by the Bifrost Light of Alfheim. This place can focus and control that light. And is this the World Tree? Only an artistic representation of it. No, the Yggdrasil is much, much more than this. The Tree of Life is bound to the fate of the world, just as we are bound to it. The tree nourishes our soils. The dew from its leaves feeds our valleys and rivers. The tree's very existence supports all of creation along its boughs. Its life energy interwoven into the tapestry of life. Birth. Growth, death, and rebirth. Every strand transcending time, transcending space. Everything comes back to the tree. So, that's how it works. But I'm guessing you were looking for a more practical answer. Yes. Very well. The bridge you pushed outside is currently positioned to lead to the realm of Vanaheim. Instead, turn the wheel to our actual destination, Alfheim. You must select the destination realm, Alfheim. Wait! Is 
this moving the big bridge outside? Yes. The wheel turns the bridge, and the bridge aligns to the different realm towers on the lake outside. Wait, there's no tower on this one. And that's why realm travel to Jotunheim is impossible. Without a tower for the bridge to lock into, the sequence can't begin. Every realm has a travel room that unlocks the bridge to that realm. I'm giving you the one for Alfheim. Now you can lock in your destination. We're ready. Remember to take the Bifrost. You don't want to lose that. Now the realm travel bridge will align, and the realm between realms will open. See that giant crystal? Each realm has a corresponding one that focuses and amplifies the power of the Bifrost, opening the bridge to that realm. That's why realm travel is only possible from this room. What about that one realm tower missing from the lake? The Jotunheim Tower disappeared from all realms over a hundred winters ago, when the giants vanished from Midgard. Where the tower went and how they moved it remain a mystery. Follow me. The Bifrost is dark. This trip was its last use. There's no going back until it's replenished with the light of Alfheim. So we are trapped. Someone of your ability should have little trouble getting back to Midgard. And we'll be able to make that black breath go away? With the captured light of Alfheim, yes. Welcome to Alfheim, gentlemen. Think you can spot... The light. I can barely see it. Something's wrong. See that column of light on the horizon? It's housed in the heart of a ring temple. We'll find what we need there. No. No, no, no. Damn it, not yet. What's happening? <sighs> to restore the Bifrost magic, you must step into the light. But be very careful not to get caught. She's not dead. Is she? Not likely. Come. Look at this place. Stay by me. Touch nothing. Okay. What is that? There's something glowing inside that knot? I think you killed it. Not our concern, boy. Focus.
They keep murdering the light elves. It is war. The end of one. The robed one's lost. attacking us for we didn't do anything <laughs> more will come Ugh. where's this stuff even come from Did you say something? No. Oh, okay. Another cipher piece. I'll see what I can fit together. At least we're getting closer to the light. Is that Sindri? Dwarf. We were told our path was the only one between realms. Well, it may be the only way for you to travel, but we dwarves are full of surprises. That is not an answer. Ah, hang on to that sense of wonder. There's so little mystery once you've amassed the wealth of arcane knowledge that I have. Where to comb the realms for exotic resources. How to craft them into creations that defy imagination. To the novice, I'm sure it all seems like magic. But... Uh... Oh, all right. It's magic. Are you happy now? Did you really make that axe for my mother? Oh, I'd recognize it anywhere. Ask me. It's one of our best. Infused with the echoing screams of 20 frost trolls. Give or take. But why her? How did you know her? She sought us out in the beginning. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. I suppose we thought it was a chance to give power to someone who'd use it for good. She even spoke our native tongue. She'd say, Madurin Sem Gengur, Egen Vigum Hans. Gengur I. That's right. That's impressive. I see a lot of her in your eyes. You know? Thanks, and Don't I... touch me. What? I didn't. I won't. I'll come back later. Be careful where you're going. There's nobody nice out here anymore since all the people left. I mean, I hate to generalize, but, um, mostly they just try to kill you. Good tip. Um, I know it's not my business, but if I were you, I'd wash off that symbol painted on your neck. We were told it would help protect us. Was that a lie? Oh, no, it's a protection stave, all right, but you can't render that pigment into paintable texture without blending it with boar urine. And is that really better than death? Maybe a little. Well, well, it's your neck. Sindri, have you always been so... Clean? Huh. Don't I wish. No, I was just as unsanitary as the next dwarf until the day a Vanyar witch set me straight. 
she discovered with her magic there are hundreds of thousands of tiny beasties on everything around us. Oh, so small you can't even see them. No. It's true. And if they get inside you, they make you sick. But the witch told me there's one wood, the oak, that's a natural deterrent. Stops the beasties from spreading. So now, I make all my handles from oak. See? I think of these things. Okay, back to work. So how come Brock's blue and you're not? Boy. Oh, it's fine. Very good question, actually. You see, my brother's not as careful as I am. In fact, he prefers to work with metals using his own bare hands. Ugh. No gloves. Says it's the only way he can hear what it wants to be. Touch enough raw silver and it changes your skin irreparably. That means forever. I wouldn't bring it up to him, though. <laughs> you know how sensitive he can be. I guess that makes sense. Sindri, why don't you just make up with your brother already? Me? Make up with him? Because he's an obstinate pighead incapable of change. Because he says the most terrible things about me, just because he's insecure about his own work, which, let me tell you, is subpar. Because he blames me for. for the things that aren't my fault. Huh? Like what? Would you pardon me, please? I need to collect myself. Let's get to it. Good help. What can I do for you? What do we miss? Probably shouldn't let my brother lay hands on it again, but if he does, tell him to temper his steel longer. He's warping the bit work. Anything you need, young sir. Who knew?
And for you? Ooh, what more do you need? Be seeing ya! Look, there's a boat tangled up over there. What'd you say? I said nothing. Really? Okay. Did your mother speak of this realm? Not much. Just that since the elves are always fighting over the light, they kept them isolated.
Again, I said nothing. Where? Could have sworn you said something. What is it, boy? Oh. Voices! You don't hear that? I hear nothing. It's going away now. It was screaming. Lots of voices. Angry. You really didn't hear that? No. It felt... evil. Should we try talking to them? No. But maybe they need help. They do not stop us, so they do not concern us. But they maybe... do not concern us. the ring temple. It's sad the elves can't work things out. I'll find such a beautiful place, but war makes it ugly. Enough. Stories are for the boat. Look, they have sand bowls in Alfheim too. Should I read it? What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. But I don't see any runes around here. Oh, we must find it. Back to the boat. Sad the elves can't work things out. I'll find such a beautiful place, but war makes it ugly. You see with the eyes of a child. In war, a soldier sees beauty only in the blood of his enemy. The rest of him is lost. Sometimes never to return. You know about war, don't you? Wars are fought for two things, survival or advantage. Battles may be won by the better soldier. Wars are won by those who are willing to sacrifice everything to ensure victory.
Atreus, follow me.
What's that? Yeah! <laughs> 
Sindri said mother was a warrior. Was she in a war too? Of a sort. Her family was decimated by hostile rivals, and she alone survived. She walked the warrior's path, but her war was to live on. To brave an unforgiving world alone. And that's why she asked Sindri and Brock to make her the axe? She had the strength to wield such a weapon, and the wisdom to use it for good. She found purpose. The blue door! That's gotta be the entrance. Let's go! Careful, boy. What are they doing? The bridge is gone. They covered the crystal with that stuff. Why? To prevent reinforcements. Maybe we can fix the bridge from down there? Okay, so that did something, I think. Combined together like that, they kind of look like a room. It doesn't make sense. Come, back to the sand bowl. What's that? Father, you ever know anyone else who heard voices? I knew desperate men at sea who 
When our supplies ran dry, would quench their thirst by drinking seawater. They swore the sirens, evil creatures singing to them from nearby islands, were in fact their wives and daughters calling them home. They endangered the crew, steering us toward the reefs. But set that aside. We must proceed. Father, the pillars and ring form an elvish room. What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. Yep, it's water, all right. Boy! It was the voices again, but different voices, less angry. They were asking for help. We are here for the light. I do not care who they are, nor what they want. You never care about anything. You have something to say? No. Ruger. What's happening? Whoa! Look what we found! Father? Yes? The voices I heard, I, it was hard to make out, but way in the back I'm pretty sure I heard Mother. That is not possible. But I know what I heard. Atreus, enough. He looks different. Look at those horns. Behind me, boy. That can't be good. Nice shot. Stay away from those cages. Wonder why they're locked up. 